Okay, I think I am live. I'm going to uh, check on my computer so I can actually see, like, comments and things like that. So, um, if you see me, say something, say hi. Um, but I'm here today. We are going to go ahead and do the organize with me that um, I talked about doing, I don't know, when was it? A couple months ago, maybe? So, yeah, um, I went to go figure this out earlier. Oh, hey, Trisha. Good. I'm glad to see it's working. Um, I, I went to go figure this out because this is my first live. And then I realized that unless you have a thousand subscribers or more, you can't go live from your phone. Yeah. Um, but there's ways around it, which is what I'm doing. So, hey, Adrian, glad you guys can make it. So, can you hear me okay? Um, see everything okay? I, I've got you up on my computer. I'm not sure if there's really a lag. There may be a little bit of a lag just because I'm using a third-party app to do the live. Because like I was saying, you have to have a thousand subscribers or more to do live from your phone. It's complicated. So, um, and I didn't realize that until after I planned to do this. So, I'm here, I made it, I found a way. So, that's exciting. So, organization for my stickers. This is what I do. Um, oh, great. That's good to hear. I tried to do a test earlier, just real quick to make sure um, that was kind of private test, so, and it seemed like it worked fine, so I'm glad it's working great. Um, this is what I do for my sticker organization. I know a lot of people have different ways that they do things. Mine is still a complete work in progress, okay? So, we're gonna do some of it together today. You guys can chat with me in the comments. Um, ask me any questions that you want to, um, and we'll go from there. But I wanted to show you the things that I do and um, what I'm actually doing, because that's a lot of what this is here, and go from there. So one of the main things that I use are binders, the mini binders. Oh, good. So I use a lot of the mini binders. Um, this one is like really chuck full. So some of the binders I have, like this one, are just a single shop. And I literally have everything from that one shop in the one binder. Then there are other binders that I have that are kind of miscellaneous. So it has a little bit of things from all kinds of shops. But right now, I still have mine organized by shop. I'm looking at reorganizing some of these so that um, it's more based on type of sticker. I do have two binder, no, one binder that literally just has like all my Hobonichi kits. Um, this is another miscellaneous one. And this one just has like a whole lot from all over the place so and some of these like i've had some of this for a very long time so my thing with some of these is do i take some of these sheets like these that are full functional do i keep them like this or do i organize them like i've been organizing some of my leftovers so that's where some of my debate is so hello hello I got to keep an eye on, um, I got to remember to look over at the computer for comments because I can't see my phone screen. Um, so that's one of the things that I use is the mini binders, but there's also the albums. 
So I use more, <laughs> you're watching at work, that's funny. I'm glad you can make it though. Um, I use the mini binders mostly for things like kits and the larger sheets. You also have the, um, they do make the six by eights. So, um, you can do that. This one's a five by seven album. I have a whole bunch of albums, to be honest. Like here, I have a whole basket that I just keep a bunch of my albums in. A lot of them are four by six. Um, this particular album is all Tipsy Dog Designs. Um, honestly, most of my albums are by shop. I have one that's just Cheerful Planner Girl. I have one that's Keep It Simple Stickers, one that's Penny Pages. You know, so I have a bunch. This one's all Inspire Ever After. But these are all like quarter size sheets or smaller. Um, so the four by six albums fit really, really, um, fit those really well. So I have like a whole basket of albums that I organize a lot of things in. For me, I find that some things I'm better at finding by shop because I kind of know what I have by shops. Yeah, and you know why I do it like this though? Um, is I keep all of mine up on a shelf above my cutters. So, oh yeah, I've been reorganizing mine for a while. Um, so, but like I said, I'm considering a revamp on some of the stuff, but these ones are not going to change. They're definitely not going to change. I personally have always done by shop because I kind of know what, um, hey Lisa. Um, I kind of know what I have by shop, but when it's coming down to some of the larger kits and things where I have actually started to really use a lot more of what I have. That's why in the binders, I'm considering, this one, like I said, is chock full. This is all Beyond Paper Flowers. and But some of these I'm considering going back and like that one um, binder that I had, the quarter boxes, sheets and stuff. I think it was this one. These, like these, do I keep these in a, um, in a binder like this, or do I just make like a functional binder, which is what I'm really considering doing, um, for some of these kind of things. So, yeah, um, yeah, the sleeves, yeah, well, the kits fit nicely in these for the most part. You can get the six by eight albums as well, which will fit these a little bit tighter. The thing I like about the binders over some of the albums is this. Let's say I want to rearrange and put these in a different place. All I have to do is pop open the binder, take this and move it. I don't have to like remove everything from the sleeves. So I can move these sheets around, which is one of the things that I find I like better with the binders for some of it. And it doesn't bother me that the sleeves are a little large for it. Um, I do have in case you're looking for like the sleeves and stuff, I have in my Amazon store, which I think I was able to get it linked down here already in the description but I'll definitely make sure for um, when this goes up after that I will definitely make sure that it's linked down there. But I do have, um, yeah, it, it really is easier to rearrange with the albums. Um, yeah, the five by sevens, this one's a five by seven. The six by eight's a little bit bigger. It depends on kits because if you're like me, 
Uh, okay, let, we'll, we'll talk about my shop. You know, my shop, I really push the boundaries on the page as much as I really can. And um, yeah, they won't fit in the 5x7s. My kits will not fit in the 5x7s whatsoever. You may be lucky if they fit in the 6 by 8s because I maximize the sheet page as much as I possibly can. And, you know, it, it really, um, yeah. The thing is, like, this one right here, this is what I like to call my um, quick grab kind of binder or binder album. It literally has everything. And if you've seen Caitlin, she has like a million sheets shoved in stuff. I have like a million sheets of that are similar kind that I use all the time shoved into the same sleeve. Sometimes. Some things. Like this one I do. These are like all my computer working kind of stickers. I have a whole bunch of them. You know, all the things. So I shove them all here in this one because sometimes I just want to grab them all and just flip through them. So like these are a lot of the ones that I use frequently. There's actually some back here that I haven't touched in a while. So I really need to reorganize this album, but it's kind of daunting to me to have to pull all those out and redo the whole thing. That's why I prefer the binders for some things, but for like the smaller sheets, the albums are great. I love them for that. So that's one of the big things that I use. I use a lot of albums. I use the binders. I have like 10 of these binders. These ones I got at Walmart for like, oh, I wanna say they were like four or five bucks. They were not expensive. Um, and I pulled off like the tag that was on the back. So, um, Okay, yeah, the ones I'd have to look. You may have gotten the 6x8s, because I do offer the 6x8s now, too. Hello, Tara. Um, I think someone is trying to call me, and they can't really do it because I'm live. So they're going to have to wait. Um, it's really weird, because I thought my phone was on um, Do Not Disturb. So, I'm sorry, guys, if you hear that vibrating. Hopefully, they'll stop. But, um, yeah, I don't know if they make smaller binders, though. These are the mini binders. They aren't, like, the full-size binders. These are the smaller binders. So, I get these. Like I said, I got this one, um, a couple of these at Walmart. I did have some that I got. It was... It was a really good um, time to get them. And it's been a while since I got them now, though. But Dollar General had some where um, they were actually for kind of a create your own planner type thing. But the binders, they were on, I mean, the whole set was on clearance and I needed more binders. So I literally um, bought them out because they were, I think they were less than a buck when they were on sale so yeah if you can catch some those are great oh you know that's a good idea i would never have thought about that the airplane mode but wouldn't that mess up with the wi-fi with me being live hmm. no and it's definitely not your phone <laughs> michelle because um i don't have the sound on on my computer i just have it on so i can see the comments and you know so it must be somebody who's on my favorites that can get through the do not disturb. That's the only way, but I had it on vibrate and do not disturb. So the other thing that I use a lot now is the reusable sticker books. And I have a whole bunch here. Okay. This one is from Perfect Prince Co. Hers are fabulous. I love hers. I really do. I'm working on still adding in here. These two are from Keepsakes by Ashley. Again, love these ones. They are um, amazing. The quality is amazing. The pages are double-sided on all of these. So they work really well. Yeah, I may have to do that. <clears throat> Guys, I'm sorry. My allergies are a hot mess. So if my voice like goes in and out and all that, mm -hmm. yep. 
Now, these four I got off of Amazon, okay? So these are some of the smaller ones. And you'll notice there's like two different thicknesses of them from the ones from Amazon. This is like the regular size and this is the double pages. I'm going to recommend if you order the ones from Amazon, including these giant ones, because these are like nine by 11 or something like that. They're, they're big. Um, go for the double pages. If you have a lot of stickers to organize, go for the double pages. It costs a little bit more, but it's absolutely worth it. It's not even twice the cost. These ones right here, this one I ended up going for the double pages. Uh, this one was my original one that I bought. And um, I'm going to tell you, this one is almost full. So how I've been going through, and this is where I want to probably spend most of my time, unless you guys have other questions you want to ask, is how am I going through and organizing things like leftovers and samplers okay um as you can see from just quick flip through i'm organizing them by sticker type in the reusable albums or books this one has a lot of my habit trackers if i know they're all from the same shop i'm trying to group them together but there's not always going to be that because I'm just pulling them off of samplers or kit left over, you know, kits that are left over and things like that. And then I put, you know, I'm trying to group them, like I said, by what type of stickers they are because it's easier um, for me to find what I'm looking for. This one I started when I was starting. This is just Inspire Ever After stickers. It's not going to stay that way because I'm going to need the space. Um, so I have like all this that I can do something with. I haven't decided what I'm going to add with it yet. This one right now is mostly, uh, TPC-ish, TPC, Caitlin made me do it kind of stickers for the time being. This one right now I'm using for Hobonichi sized. And then this one I started doing with, um, characters. So this will be more than just the Penny Pages characters, but... Again, it's all still a complete work in progress for me. So, yeah, you know, it's been hard for me to figure this out because I started in this one, okay? And then I moved all of the stuff from here into here. And I'm going to be honest, I'm running out of space again because here's my full boxes. This is where my full boxes end. And this is all the space I have left. And as I get more um, samplers or kit leftovers or things like that, I have extras that I need to move into here. And I'm trying to keep things together. But yeah, that's the thing. I wouldn't know how tabs would really work. You probably would want... Um, if you're going to do tabs, you're probably going to want ones that are on the unicorn paper because that has the best hold to it. It'll still come off of this, but not as easily as some of the other papers. I will say the removable matte paper does not do well in these books. If you put it down, that's fine. But once you pull it up, if you want to put it back down, it's going to come up some more. So they don't stay down as well because they're meant to be removable to begin with. So it just doesn't hold as well to these. Um, but right now I have this one by full boxes, then all the half boxes. And I've gone through and added some more. But as I'm pulling stuff out, if I notice there's a gap, and I have more stickers to put in, then I'm going back and filling in those spaces. So then I have quarter boxes or similar because some of these are like shaped ones, but they're sized about the same. Yeah, vinyl would be pretty much like the um, unicorn. It's still that thicker material. Um, so like there's a space right here. I could put a little skinny box. 
Um, so that's the nice thing with the reusable is once you pull stuff out, you can always put new in in place of it. So I'm running out of a lot of space. Then I kind of went into like the movie marquee type stickers and just some other little random things, other sized shaped boxes. These ones don't really fit most of the norm. How do I store my leftover glitter headers? Good, good question. I haven't gotten there yet. Those I still haven't gotten to. I'm planning on, depends on, honestly, it's going to depend on how many are left. Um, if I have full sheets that have like a lot left on them, then I'll probably just keep them together because, for example, is this the right one? Yeah. This album right here is my Keep It Simple stickers. And I have seriously a thing for her glitter headers. I'm not even joking. So, and some of them only have like a couple left on it. But I keep all of these together. So, what I'm thinking is with, and like I literally have another whole sleeve of them here too. So, I mean, yeah, I have a thing for her glitter headers. She usually has one that I need whenever I um, need glitter headers. But I have more than just hers. So I even have a sleeve full of them from Cheerful Planner Girl and whatnot too. But like with all the ones from the kits, if I only have like one or two or whatever, um, then I'll probably organize them in one of these as well. These big ones, these I have the exact two that I have right here, I have them linked in my Amazon store. I do get these off of Amazon. These ones do cost a little bit more. Um, oh, good. The mini tabs you have on here and they're holding up well. That's good. Yeah, I, I'm i glad to hear that. These big ones, though, these are from Amazon. They, I want to say it's like 30 or 40 bucks for these. But like I said, the double pages is definitely worth the extra cost because um, you get twice as many pages without buying two books. So I hope that makes sense. So these are just kind of like some different shaped, the circular ones. Obviously this page is all post-its. As you can see, I'm running out of space because I didn't realize I have as much as I do. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how much I really do have to organize. It's a ton. Um, all my like half scallops and my brush strokes. This filled in a lot yesterday because I did some organizing yesterday. And some of this, yeah. Yeah, it's easier to see from what i'm seeing it's easier to find stuff when it's all together like this especially if you're gonna do like a leftover spread um you can easily kind of look and see oh what's gonna look good together what do i have that will match whatever if you just need to pull in a functional or two so that's why i kind of want to put even like the leftover headers glitter headers into here but i haven't gotten that far in my organizing which is also why I want to show you the actual process of how I've been doing this. Um, it's very tedious. It's very, very tedious. It's time consuming. But in the end, when I'm all done, and even now, I you can tell I've pulled. I've had some, you know, the single check boxes here. And then I've got arrows here. I've been pulling from this because I know where it is. So I can do that. This is mostly foldables and tabs, which again, I didn't think I had that many. Um, I just had some date covers. These ones right here were ones that I think were from when I had the sticker book. And these were on Oops pages, but the header piece was fine. It was the date dots and I decided to keep them for myself. So these I actually have given away a lot of these. Um, these are all from Keep It Simple stickers, but um, for now, they're here. These are just like some headers or divider pieces. So, um, and then I have the rest of this to do more with. But again, I might need to pull some of that space in the back for some of this, which I really don't want to do. But if I have to, I will. So, and then this one right now is only full checklist boxes. 
Um, I haven't gotten to, well, with the exception of this that was all on one page that I put in here yesterday. I haven't gotten to any of the half check boxes, but I'm thinking either I can do that or um, either do that today or it could start on, I, I got a question for you. Scripts, quotes, um, would you put scripts and like script related quotes all together or would you separate those? Um, Kara, these ones are in my Amazon store. If you go, I have it linked down below in my Amazon store. You'll see these two. The owner that has these on Amazon has multiple other ones as well. But, um, these are the, the two covers that I have. These ones are linked there. I definitely, definitely recommend looking for the large, the, um, double pages ones because of the amount that's in it. I think this has like 20 sheets and that has like 40. So, and you saw how full this is at 40 pages and all I have is this left and these are double sided. So you'd put them all together and you'd put them separate. See, that's, that's where my, um, dilemma is because I have a lot. Now look, this is a basket of just samplers. Not kidding. It's all sampler sheets. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, and you'd separate them. Okay. Oh, see, Adrian, I don't, I'm, oh, I wouldn't be able to do them all alphabetically. That would take me literally forever. But some of them you can see I've already started organizing. I've literally been going through this. I've gone through this I don't know how many times. Just because I'm organizing them by type. And do I care how they go in here? Not necessarily. Because they're, you know. For me to look through all this to find a sticker is a pain. It's a pain. <laughs> Very funny, Kara. I know. You would enjoy that. But I, I enjoy it too. Look, here, look. These are kit leftovers. I'm serious, guys. I have so much to organize. I, I'm really, really not as organized as it may seem sometimes. So what I do, now I'm trying to decide if I want to do checklists all right, do you want me to organize some more checklists? Yeah, see, I've got a lot. Should I do checklists? I need to do functionals. With functionals, I may do more like icons um, and just kind of general functionals in, you know, functionals in general. That would take a while too. You know what, though? I may want to do some checklists just because I'm always looking for them. Always looking for them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could. Well, you know what I do, too? Let's say um, there's stickers on some of these sheets that I won't actually use. Because there are those kind of things um, that I won't use. I have... Oh, you taped them to construction paper and put them in a three-wing binder. Yeah, that's always a good idea. Um, but for me to have to flip through that many and there's like so many different types of stickers all on all the different samplers, for me to find exactly what I'm looking for is hard. So that's why even in the basket here, I don't tend to um, go through it and use the stuff. So once I'm putting it in here, I'm finding I'm actually using it. But let's say I find some stickers I'm not gonna use. Like, let's say coffee. Because I don't really drink coffee. This, all this is, is um, when I took, when I finished the sheet off, when I finished organizing this, I peeled the backing off of it and that this is all that is. It's just the back of a sheet. So I just 
duck some down here. And what I'll do when I'm done with this, I'll send it to somebody who I know will use it. Um, and actually, I see it right here. There's a habit tracker. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to go ahead and stick it in here. Um, see, I know this is a sticker patch one and I don't have any room there. So I'm just going to find a spot that I can put it and I'm going to stick it in here. So I really need to organize my checklists. I have a lot of icons like this. I have a lot of headers. All those I have not touched yet. I still have a lot of regular functionals. Um, see, you know, I'm going to tell you how I collected a lot of these are either A, from ordering, obviously, B, when I swap every month with other shops, a lot of times they send an extra for me, I do the same for them. So sometimes I can order, like I can tell you right now, I have two from Purdy Planner. One of these was when I swapped with her, she sent me one, and one was when I ordered from somebody else and I ended up with, um a swap bag because of when I ordered or whatever so I end up with multiples sometimes of the same stickers for that reason so I have so much here um so what I like to do and I'm trying to decide should we work on scripts functionals I don't want to do headers yet um, checklists, maybe we should do checklists. I'm going to leave space here because what if I have more full boxes? So I've got my checklists one. I'm going to flip through samplers real quick. And this is, this is literally what I do. I will sit here and I will go through, um, samplers and things and I see a checklist so this is what I'm looking for I'm looking for the checklists a lot of times if I can functionals are gonna take a good long time too because and here's my question would you put deco like this along with other functionals that could be like oh see and I've got characters and stuff in here too some of these, like these I would put with quotes. Um, some of these I would consider more just like a functional. Those would be characters. Um, some of them are like functional deco kind of thing though. So like these are more functional deco. So I'm trying to decide would I put the ladybug with these or should I like stick you know what I'm saying stick them some more separate well you know Julia I honestly I don't use checklists in certain planners some planners I do some planners I don't and I'm just sitting here talking and not um, actually accomplishing anything while I talk um, and like these are see and then we get, this is a character, but yet some of these are more like functional kind of things. Yeah, functional and then deco together. I'm thinking that these could be classified probably as either, but I would use them more functionally. This again was just another little sampler sheet that I pulled a few other random things off of. So I'm just looking really quick for checklists and this is literally what I do. These glitter headers will be pulled and put on one. Here's some scripts, but I'm not doing that yet. So, oh, look, checklists on a couple of these. If I can use the tweezers, a lot of times I'll try to use the tweezers. And the reason for that is it keeps my fingers, the oil from your fingers off of it. So now this sheet is done, we're good. We can get rid of that. And this is when we can start eliminating because all of these other ones I've already eliminated elsewhere. Yeah, you know, and that's good. If you don't use it, and like I said, if you don't use it and you can give it to someone, that's always a good thing too. 
I like to um, do that, like I said, on these kind of sheets. I just pull the backing off when I finish off a sheet and then I'll give it, you know, create my own sheets for stuff for people who, um, so this is a top three. I guess this could kind of go with checklist because it is technically a checklist. And since it's like a half box checklist, you know, I should have probably left space for half box checklist. And what did I do? I didn't. I just went checklist flags. <sighs> See, this is my problem, guys. I do this. I do this. I'm going to move these because it's not too late. It's like I just started doing these. I'm going to leave that page for half box checklists. I don't think I have a ton of them. So, yeah. I think I was saying I try to use the tweezers. So that way the oil from my hands doesn't get on the back of the sticker because I know you've seen Caitlin stick them all on the back of your hand um, and things like that. Yeah, and it does kind of take some of the stick off too. So by here, maybe I should move this down a little bit. I don't know. Um, these are just die cuts, so I should really set those aside and put them where they belong because um, I have a little pouch that I have die cuts in. How do you guys use your die cuts? I don't really use them that much. Um, I'm not good about using my die cuts. Um, so, and then these, I'll have to figure out where I want to put those. Because it's, I do have something similar in my TPC. C one, so maybe I could put those in here because I have some of those. What do you think? The shop, and that's the other thing. If I'm just randomly going through here and I find one that, um, um, yeah, Julia, because it 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 helps it to stay down better, so you don't like you know your the oils from your hands are not all over it. Um. If I find something I've already organized as I'm going through because I've added like stickers since, then I will do, I will stop and I will put them where they belong. So um, you'll see that I'll flip through different um, things, albums, books. So, yeah, that's literally how I do it. And it takes forever doing it this way because I'm literally looking for one type of sticker. And see, this, I kind of put, where's the other book? I kind of put that, I had a similar one like that to, with my full boxes. Because, and I have some space down here, so I'm just going to kind of throw that one down in here. I don't always do it with the full boxes, but... Because that could be a full box for a smaller planner. So, you know, I've just got all of these. There's so many different things. And that's the thing. It's It takes so long to do this. But at the same time, when I'm all done with all of this, I can find what I'm looking for and feel so much better about it and I know I have more of these samplers so where did they go I don't know they're in here somewhere and like I said I just found some I just put some of those here so we're gonna put those in here too so this is literally my process for doing all this and yes it takes forever it does however it is fun though you're right um it's relaxing and in the end, it just, um, you feel so much better once you can find stuff. Yeah, it really is, unfortunately, the only way to go about it. If you left enough space, oops, um, I guess, see, that could be kind of like one of those divider thingies, maybe. Um... If you leave enough space for things, um, you could essentially try to do multiple at the same time. But for me, I 
I found that generally when I do that, it, um, it doesn't work out very well. So, cause I always miss stuff. So then what I'll do is I'll probably use this kind of as a divider here. Um, as I work through the basket, once I pull through the whole section of what I'm looking for here, and I'll do this with both samplers and I will go through and do it with the, um, kits too. So <laughs> can I, can I do yours next? Well, um, do you really want me to come do yours? Because let me just tell you, you know how long this has taken me and I'm still not even anywhere close to being done. Yeah, I think that's the problem too, though. It would get confusing trying to do too many at once because you're trying to think about what it is that you need and um, that you're looking for. And then it's easy to skip things. So I have literally come across so many before that after I've gone through and done some that, you know, you know, I probably would find more of these and get further if I actually did the um, kits because they are, um, that's where I'm going to find more of the checklists. And maybe I will flip and do some of the kits because I know for a fact I have a lot of sheets of that I've cleared off and all they have left on it are like three or four checklists. Oh, you can take me to Olive Garden every day, but then I get fat and that would go against all that I'm trying to do <laughs> with my weight. I love Olive Garden. I really, really love Olive Garden. So yeah, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is maybe I will go on the um the the kits for a bit be, the leftovers because like these right here should I start a new page for the long ones and do the short ones on one page and long ones on the other I think that might actually be better but then I'm gonna have to flip it back and forth hmm yeah, well, let's do it, though, because I feel like sometimes I might like sometimes I might want long ones and sometimes I might like short ones. And I think it'll fit better that way, too. Um, so we've got that. And then these, I could pretty much... This was a sheet that was just given like some things too like um if you're in the planner squad group that used to be the old um aurora and avalon group you know if you play like bingo or tara does the family feud style um washi wednesday game once a month things like that if you win happy mail from somewhere you get some of these kind of sheets too so um this was one of those so putting it in here i can actually see what i have and use it and guess what another sheet done and i'm getting all kind of crooked now Which doesn't bother me. Fit the long and shorts together like Tetris. Yeah, that would be good too. I'm just, I'm thinking though, it might be better to do longs together and then shorts together. Because sometimes I want the long ones, sometimes I want the short ones. And finding what I'm looking for, these are all shorter, will be easier you know this little baby one right here is gonna drive me crazy down there all right so I'm trying to organize them sort of by size and things too but not get too terribly picky it's one of those crazy things so yeah um oops this one was um 
Now I'm going to have to, uh, obviously I tore some of the backing because it's stuck. Which doesn't bother me on that. I, you know, I didn't tear the sticker, but. So, do you guys have any other, like, questions about organization for me? Um... What do you want? Um, what else would you like to know? This is like how I go through and do stuff. It takes a long time, like I said. But I've actually found already that I can find the things I'm looking for a lot better. Uh, come on. Here we go. The next page. Keep going. Oh, look. I have a tracker. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that with my other truckers right here. And then, let's see. Oh, I think I have some in here and I'm not exactly sure. Um... Oh, is it? Good. I'm glad. It's it's relaxing just to do this. And, you know, some of these keep sticking. But, you know, I, I, I get it. With the unicorn paper, oh, my goodness. You guys, the unicorn paper, it's amazing. I love it. But at the same time, then you get spots like this that stick. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. The, the cutters are difficult when it comes to it sometimes oh well good glad I can help make your um, the rest of your day fly oh goodness this is not supposed to be like that I might need <laughs> to try to cut this because um, it's stuck on here good there we go sometimes you just gotta get in there um oh the large reusable books are from my Amazon store they're on Amazon um you know, I may have to save this page for later because some of these are not cut exactly well and it's taking too much of my time right now. So maybe I'll just wait and fuss with it later. I think maybe that was an oop sheet and that's very possible because I do buy oop stickers. Um, but if you go down in my in the description, there's um, a, yeah, um, yes, I'm using an app. Hold on, I'll I'll come back to that. Um, yeah, in the in my description, there's a link to my Amazon store, and they have the um, the big albums in there. And like I said she, before earlier, she has a lot of other sizes too. Um, yeah, I honestly found earlier I didn't realize that until I decided I was going to come live and do this, that you couldn't live stream without having a thousand subscribers. And I was like, uh-oh. So I looked it up. You Well, from what I understand, you can live stream on the computer um, without having a thousand subscribers, but not mobily. So this app, I want to say it's called Prism is what I'm using. It's an app called Prism, I believe. So I just downloaded it earlier and then I played with it and did a quick test that was um, private. So no, you know, so you guys wouldn't think I just jumped on early um, to try it out and it worked out really well. I think there's a slight lag between this and what you're actually seeing but 
Obviously it works. Yeah, the, the unicorn paper, it's about cutting it, getting it cut exactly correctly. Um, that is one of the things that as a shop owner using, using it, I have found. And I have to literally test, you know, I'm going to put these over here because I left myself not a lot of space here. Um, as a shop owner when using it, I, I literally have to pull up a corner and make sure that all the sheets cut properly because like even the blades are a pain sometimes. One sheet cuts just perfect and then the next it's not cut. I'm like, you know, it's, it's frustrating. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I believe that. And, you know, for something like this, I could have probably done it on the computer. And I just, uh, mm, I didn't really feel like doing that because then I'd have to hold everything up to show you what I'm doing. And it's just too much, too much of um, a pain. I'm going to deal with the Hope and HE stickers later because I have a separate album just for those. And see, some of these, I would consider putting this in a binder by itself with just functionals. It may not seem like there's a lag on your end, but I can see it um, because I have my computer up so I could see the comments. It's not a very big lag. It's only a couple of seconds, but there is a slight lag. It's slight. It's not very long. So, which is a good thing. I'm, I'm happy about that, but there is a very slight lag. And see this sheet. Okay, so this right here, I'm going to tell you. Um, I know this one is removable matte paper. So I'm not going to want to pull these up to move them again until I go to use them. Because if I do, it's not going to stick down again very well. Just FYI. How do I know? Been there, done that. Um, when I moved a lot of the stickers from this one to this one because I needed more space. I had that problem. And some of them I either had to use right then or sadly throw the sticker away because it just wouldn't stay down. So it was not my um, favorite moment. It was mostly like the half and the quarter boxes when I had that because I didn't have nearly as much in this album as I do now, but I mean, seriously. The only bad thing about putting them in the reusable albums, though, is later on. Um, well, glad you can make it, Kelsey. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This is just how I organize all of my stuff. Right now, I'm going through and doing a few more. These are kind of like third boxes, so I've been putting them with the half boxes I think more just because they're bigger than a quarter um but like these yeah you're gonna want if it's removable mat you're not gonna want to move it again once you set it down in here don't move it until you um until you need it it won't stay down again so yeah all right, and then there's a quarter box, so I'm going to go find a spot and put that one, too. Since these are ones I've already done. And when I've been putting them in here with the boxes and such, I don't care if it's like um, an appointment label shape, if it's a skinnier quarter box, if it's a scallop quarter box. It's, it's all the same to me. It's still... Um, it's still enough alike to me that it makes it easier. Even some of these that are more the flag shaped. It's still about the same size box. And this is where I'm finding it for me. So. How do you know if it's removable, Matt? Um, well, it depends on the shop. Some of the shops will tell you if it's removable, Matt, when you go to order. I do know... Lisa Lorraine Plans, which was the one that 
um, I grabbed those couple of flags and stuff on um, are removable. If you go to stick it down in your planner and you pull it right back up and it's that easy to pull up, it's removable mat. It does not matter which, um, you know, if it's like really smooth pulling back up, it's removable mat. It's generally more of a, it looks more of a stand. See, as a shop owner, I can really just tell by the feel, by the, um, by the look. See this, I have a bunch of ones that haven't gotten organized off of. This was one that I used and then didn't put away. So we're just gonna do that now because we are here, we are doing it. So um, it's definitely not the buttery smooth cause that's the unicorn paper. It's more of your basic matte, but not the eggshell paper that, as Caitlin calls it. Like this is more the eggshell paper. This one is. Um, as a shop owner, I just know because I've used them. So it's easy for me to be able to go, okay, this is that type of paper. Um, after a while, you kind of know with different shops. But check the description because sometimes um, shops will tell you if it's removable mat, standard mat, vibrant mat, or premium mat. It kind of depends. Some shops call the eggshell paper vibrant mat or premium mat. Some shops call the unicorn paper premium mat or unicorn paper it really depends on the shop i try to be i try not to call it premium well i try not to call the eggshell paper premium mat because it gets confused with the with the unicorn paper a lot i consider the unicorn paper a premium mat it's not cheap let me tell you i cringe every time i order my paper for that but you know it's so amazing. I love the paper. But yeah, unfortunately, um, Michelle, it's more or less just either check the description or as you're using the stickers, you'll kind of know if you have to move something um, from that shop. But I do know Lisa Lorraine Plans uses it. I think Punky Bee Designs uses the removable mat as well if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know a lot of shops that do. Now this I did have in here too. So this was one of those kits that just got thrown into the basket and did not get the leftovers put where they go. Well, I think I'll put it up here because I kind of narrowed my space in. So then, see, I still have icons, I still have scripts, headers, flags, those kind of things. I still have to organize. So, here's some quarter box sized, oh, that's this album. So, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of some space in some of these just because I, I've got way more than I thought I did. And that's... That's the only situation I'm running into. Now it's going to be when I finish using a kit, I'm going to need to, at the end of the week, go ahead and just put everything into my sticker books and stop throwing them in a basket. So, um... But yeah, this is literally all I do. And I've got so many more of these kind of sheets where they just need to. Now, that's a good, because the penny pages and sticky designs, which is now Katie makes, um, I feel like that belongs more half box-ish. It's not a full box, but it's not really a quarter or, I mean, I could consider that an other box and just do a separate page back here. 
Not that I'm going to have that many of them, but, you know, that might actually be a better thing so I know it's one of these kind of grid sheets. And then this, see, I have a lot of these. Now, this one right here, I may hold this because there's so many on it. Um, yeah, it's definitely better to have a basket for them than throw a pile on your desk because I, I had that for a good long time. This I may just do like, like I was talking about earlier with the sticker books, I may do, or the binders, the album binders, yeah, mini binders. I may go ahead and just put this in a um, page. So, oh, you're very welcome. Um, work meetings, boo. But, you know. This little one individual checkbox, though, I should probably put in here where it, where it goes. Wait, where is that? Um, but I may just take, because this has so much left on it, and it's like more than half the page, I may do a functional binder and do that. So I'll probably tuck this at the front so I can keep it separate. These are full boxes. There'd be six full boxes, but they're full boxes. And that's the thing with the full boxes. I'm not really distinguishing between size of full boxes. I have some in here that are classic happy planners, some of them that are EC size, some of them that are more the smaller B6 type size boxes. I use all the different planners, so it doesn't really matter to me. A full box is a full box regardless of what... Um, kit size it is now like I said I have a separate one for my Hobonichi because those are like little little stickers compared to all these so like yeah the hobo stickers I won't put these with these I will put these in that other album separately so but yeah I won't stay on here all day doing this just because you know um the, the this will take me literally for <laughs> ever to go through all this now see this is the unicorn paper um but yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to ask leave a comment if you're watching it after the live is over and i'll be happy to respond to you guys um for like washi tape i have some of the drawers you've probably seen if you follow me on any of my social media other than youtube you've probably seen my um my drawers i do have um the little washi drawers and so i keep my rolls in there my my rolls are um starting i'm starting to uh run lower on washi than you would think and it's all because, okay, see, here's another one of those sheets. Yep, I got a few more of these. And see, okay, this one I'd be almost inclined to just go ahead and take off the sheet and put it in here because I don't have as many checklists. Um, and I think I might actually make more use of this if I put it in here than if I put it on a regular sheet. But some of these are like practically full sheets or are full sheets just from when I use the kit. So I don't really want to pull them all off of here when I could probably use all this together in another spread. So I may do that, although I already started with this, so I'm just going to keep doing it. But, you know. So, yeah. Do you guys have any other questions for me? I think I meant to tell you too. Um, I really can't show you. Well, I could, but it it's a mess right now. Um, what I've done for my clips. Uh, my clip storage kind of failed after a little while because of where I put it. Um, so it's kind of all thrown back in a basket again, which isn't how I like it. But with the clips what i've done is i had one of those it's a jewelry organizer you and that's actually in my amazon store as well 
but they have little pockets and I stuck all my clips in the pockets and I hung it up on the back of my door for the office because it was a space saver that way. So yeah, I think I'm going to put these, I may do like a separate little functional binder. Um, and oh yeah, I have some more of these. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go through and do like I've got this whole page of a bunch of boxes and stuff too that I'm gonna have to take off so I'm gonna have to go back through and do like more boxes and I'm gonna run out of space in here for sure um but yeah with the clips I I had a jewelry organizer yes um Yes, samplers I've done, um, I'm doing this all the same as well. These are a basket full of samplers. And when I started this project, I actually, I went through and sort of organized these by like season or holiday. And um, well, I've added to this collection a whole lot since then. So, yeah, I've just kind of shoved stuff in here and it's not really that separated and organized. So, yeah, now look, I've got like these here that have some checklists on it. So these will definitely come out and go in here this way. So I will go through literally all of my kit leftovers, all of my samplers and organize by type of sticker based off of... Um, that and then once I get the sheets empty like these you know I, I end up with a stack of sheets that are no longer have anything on it and it's like it's so satisfying at the end to see um, them all for me Kelsey it's just easier to have them all together in like a book here that I can just quick flip then all the samplers piled together and have to keep flipping through each individual sampler to see what in the world I have so this right here makes things so much easier and faster because sometimes I get kits that let's say don't have seven checklists and I need a seventh checklist Cause I don't understand that sometimes I get kits that have like six checklists in them and I'm like, but I need seven. There's seven days, you know, so I'm looking for a checklist. So uh, having all of my checklists together, I can just kind of flip and go, Oh, that one looks like it would match and go with what I'm using. Let's use that. Um, kind of thing. Or sometimes, one of my planners, the a and Weeks this year, is I'm doing 52 weeks of use what you got. Right here, I can make full spreads out of nothing but leftovers. So I can easily flip through all this and go, um, okay, well, these stickers can match up and go together. And like I could make a spread using these three right here. But maybe something else in here could pair with that. You know what I'm saying? So for me, having this all together like this makes it a lot easier to find, oh, I can find a box that's going to match those. Than to sit here and flip through all the samplers, all the leftovers, all the things that I have. This is a quick way to go, okay, I need a full box. Let's go to the full boxes. I need a checklist. Let's go to the checklist. So that's why I'm doing it like this. It takes forever to do this. I'm not even lying. But it really, really has helped me to actually start using some of the stuff. Because I have samplers in there that I've never really ever touched. Because I just don't know what I have. And that's, that's the truth. I just don't know what I have. So doing this is going to make that so much easier if i know what i've got i can find it i can actually use it and i've i've definitely started to use 
the things that I have more because I can find it. And checklists are one of those things that I've needed to really do for a long time because, you know, I do find that I need them. I don't always use, um, it is, it is, Jen, it's a great way to use your stash. Um, I don't always, um, use checklists. Like, in all the different planners that I have, I use the checklist for my shop stuff. Um, I use it for the planner I use for TPC admining stuff. But in my personal everyday life stuff, I don't generally use checklists because I don't create to-dos for me, myself. I just tend to um, do what I need to do and from there, um, I will just, you know, put things in. A lot of times I have functionals for those. I have like icons or I have other functionals for those kind of tasks. So I don't feel the need to make myself a checklist. So sometimes I need them, sometimes I don't, which is why a lot of these full kits, I have a lot of checklists left over because I used these in uh, previous years for like my EC or now with my A5 wide, that's what these were used in where I have all the checklists left. But if I go through and go, all right, let's use this in my B6, well, now I have checklists that I can use because I will use them. I just need to know where they are and what I have that matches. So, and like my habit tracker one, I use that all the time. I, I can't even tell you how many times I have filled and like pretty much ransacked the pages from them because like, for example, this one right here, I, I mean, this has a lot of empty spaces still because I didn't fill it back up, but this one was full. I've moved some of them around and obviously I've filled back up some of these. I just randomly put some in the empty spaces. And that's what I also like about these too, because you end up with empty spaces once you use it, but then you always have leftovers or samplers from somewhere else. And it's easy to just take them and fill those spaces back in. Um, because you, you can, it's reusable for that reason. So, and it's so satisfying when this is what you have on the sheet and you're like, when I'm done putting these down, the sheet is done. It's so satisfying. I love that. And that's one of the things why I kind of like, I need to do the checklist next because this is one of those things that I'm constantly looking for. And I have a lot of sheets that all that's left on them is the checklist. So. I definitely am trying to use a lot more of what I have. And this is one of those ways that will help me to do that. Because I can definitely um, just do, oh, don't put that in the used up space. Yeah, and I see I gotta go back and I'm gonna have to probably create, now I'm throwing my tweezers, in the back of the other one, a new page for some of these boxes because I just don't have enough space to put them all. I know that already going through some of this. So. But yeah, anybody else have any other questions, things um, you wanna know? probably should start wrapping up and see washi strips i'm gonna get um again when i get to that point this is another one of those sheets that's almost all full and i think i'm just gonna keep together this is also a um binder mini binder so my brother should be home very soon and when he does he's gonna take the dog out and that's gonna make some noise because he gets excited. 
he gets very excited. So I think he's already kind of, he anticipates him being home anytime because I hear him getting restless in there. So anybody have any other questions before I pop off of here? And I guess I'll probably do some more organizing still today because I've got a lot to go. And I'm just kind of on a roll now. Sort of. Oh yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining me. It was really nice to just kind of sit and relax and show you guys. I know I've been wanting to do this for a while. Yep, another one that needs to go in that. Um, and yeah i'm glad it could help you with some ideas for what to do for your own even if you don't do the same thing i do because i mean i don't expect you to but if you got some ideas out of it that's that was what i was hoping um so yeah Anybody else? Any questions? Oh, those are long ones. Good. I'm glad. Thank you for hanging out. It was fun. I really did enjoy this. I may have to um, try to do some sort of a live thing or something sometime. Again, now that I sort of know what I'm doing. Um, sort of. <laughs> um maybe we can try to schedule something um even if it's not like organizing it could be a plan with me it could be something we could probably um figure something out and do something again where we can hang out and just chat and enjoy that's okay i'm glad you could pop in at least so, um, yeah, I definitely check, catch up later and look back because I did show a lot of things as to how I do all of this. It's definitely, definitely, um, you know, something you may want to check out if you're looking at organizing. Well, good. I'm glad I could help make your um, day off amazing. So, all right, guys. I think after I finish this sheet, I will get ready to come off of here. Um, and I'll probably finish up this basket here because, well, um, there's a lot still but thank you guys so much for joining me um it was really nice to just kind of hang out and um do this as a nice end to my little time off because my shop is going it'll be back open tomorrow so if you're looking for any of the good stuff be sure to check down in the description i have like again like a bleh again i have my amazon store link down below where you can get like some of these large reusable sticker books um i have some binders they're not the same ones as i have but i have some binders and the sleeves linked to my amazon store and i have some other things um that are awesome in there that i use all the time like the tombow and the slice tool and things like that but I have those linked down below. You can also get a lot of this reusable ones from Perfect Prince Co. and um, Keepsakes by Ashley that are amazing. They're not this big, but they do have some. Um, and then like the albums come in different sizes. I have some in my shop and there's a lot of shops that have them. So um, 
I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Um, and we'll chat soon. I should be, hopefully I'll be back on tomorrow with my, um, monthly plan with me. I still have to figure out what on earth I'm doing with that. So, you know, yeah, the bigger books are amazing, Teresa. Amazing. You'll love them. Trust me. All right, guys, let me see if I can figure out how to, um, come off of here, but have a great day, guys. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye.